are holding their own. They began the day with a four-shot lead. Salas filling it up for birdie here early in the round at number three. Yeah. Gets Jennifer Cupcho contributing as well. This to get the team to 20 under par. Yeah. In their immediate vicinity has poured on a lot of heat, so these two are in cruise control at the moment. Lizette Salas, her second at eight. This was a four hybrid. And this to just six feet. That also leads. That's a pretty similar type shot. She was, she's one of the players that takes wedge off yeah. the edge of the green. She prefers that oftentimes. Oh. Cutting where some players feel a little bit more comfortable. The team event on the LPGA Tour's regular season schedule. Two person teams. Jennifer Cupcho and Lizette Salas, the overnight leaders by four strokes. And they are not looking back in this final round of best ball. Best ball format. Brooke Matthews and Lauren Hartledge partnering this week. And they are putting together one magical round. The par three 18th finishing hole, no test for them. They get the birdie and shoot a round of 60. We have seen rounds of 59. Yes. Their third win of the season. Got to go. She knew it right away. That was pretty good rollout to even get within a yeah. half an inch. She'll make par at the ninth. She said she knew it right away, but she also knew what she left out there. And I saw her daughter Chesty this morning. Husband here. Well, now third shot. This just a moment ago. R5, pretty accessible hole location, kind of back center part of the green. Oh, yeah, very accessible for her. A couple good shots. Second at Marina Alex, partnering with Kari Webb. Hall of Famer and a Jersey girl. <laughs> and a lovely shot by Alex, a winner. Look at her right, right in the center. It's wow. Cheyenne. Family playing golf away from this tournament and really soaking it all up. Oh, Stacy Lewis, that was a good putt. That's been pretty straight most of the time, but just a good opportunity missed. No surprise to hear the walk-up song by ABBA. No. With those elbow all the way to the heel shaft of that putter, all in one line. Well done. Yeah. And there is a peek at Kari Webb. <laughs> Thrill for Sagstrom to be paired with Monica Castron. Yeah, that was a beautifully struck seven iron. Oh, yeah. She is such a gorgeous iron player. She's just the person that I know. She has a personal ra relationship with her. She forgot. I don't want to say forgot, but the enormity of what Annika means to this game because of that. And you can see how much they do enjoy teeing it up together. Yeah, it, it was a flat start for them. A lot of pars to begin the day. Back at the 10th at Cup Show. And that also is 7-iron, looking really good. Likes to cut it in. They're just peppering that flag stick. Nailing up and away. The shot hit by her sister just a moment ago. <laughs> From left to right, it's a hole on the low side of this green. Best position would be just short of it as well. Oh, nicely done. Several of these greens have the holes on the low portion of the green, so it makes it a little bit tough. To Not much movement. Nice. Just filling it up. 22 under. So once again. Oh, good finish. Well, they finally got it going a little late, but uh, nonetheless, a round of 60 to finish the week. Beautiful partnership. The Chan now for Birdie. A big week for her and the team. Good look at Birdie. Good look at that. 
There's a lot of low round. She's got a little space behind this whole location. This is just a smooth wedge, Jim. Go. It did. It stayed right there. All right, solid shot. She's got a can't see the surface. The green has to carry the bunker. Okay, far enough into the green. Oh, yeah. Beautiful oh. shot. from that first cut. Go. All right, so they'll make par at the par five, remain at 22 under. It's going to be four shot. Should have a free run right here with the partner in so close. I'm going to take it, partner. Don't worry about it. Don't pick it up. All right. He's done the last four holes. Trying to make a little run. Soft. Soft. But she hit that one hard. This could turbo nice. kick. Just beelining for the hole. Kind of reminds me of McElroy in a way, that effortless power. 30 at 14. Hey, How about the last couple of days for this team? They shot 66, four under yesterday. Spot she likes to try to land this on. Mm. Did she? Oh. Great shot there. Great touch. Play so well of the course of the last three days. And with her partner short right, this is a five hybrid going right towards the hole. Wow, she is so good with those hybrids. Yeah, two very different styles of play. Jennifer Cupcho known for her. Got to go back there. There you go. Good, good solid stroke, good rhythm. Four in a row. Five out of the last six. That is the role we expected to be on. Not losing speed, that one right in the middle of the hole. Answer, yes, we've got another one. Look at all the birdies. 24 under, five shot lead. We'll be right back. Go a little right early, then straightens out. Straightens out. Oh. 29 on the front. Four birdies on this nine, and it gets into 19 under. You pop off, and a birdie chance for her team. Ah, oh, the fist pump. <laughs> she wanted that one. A solid effort for this duo with a final round 63 with the Down Great Lakes Bay Invitational. Beautiful golf swing. Equally beautiful hole. Nice result. Just dropping it in the front door. It's probably going to be a little <laughs> too late for them, but boy, they are, are with the nine iron in her hand. Goal is to get it just inside of her partners. Let's see, trying to maybe fade it into this whole location on the right side. Really well played. Yeah. Just anything. But you don't know if that first win does open the floodgates. People say it all the time, but. For Jennifer Cupcho to get that second validating win so shortly after that first one, it's been a heck of a season for her. Yeah, her second boy for birdie. From another zip code. One of the talented rookies on the LPGA tour. Put a bucket of drop. Around the 61. Absolutely dead calm right now. Shoves that out to the right about 35 feet. That club just didn't want to get too aggressive. Ten paces ahead from her cup show hit. Going with the nine iron. She hits her irons pretty long, very aggressive. Got a good spin kick to the left about 20 feet. 
teed it up this week last year and ended up winning to be a part of that European Soul Hunt Cup team. A little too much on that one. Of Kari Webb, Marina Alex. Beautiful two. And a lovely finish. Pretty special for Marina and for Madeline Sags from playing alongside Annika earlier. Really fun. It's been Just fun like, for her, I'm sure, all week. Yeah, how low can we go? Got to go to get low. All right. She's done that a few times. So they'll hit the 16 with a five shot. We've had a lot of fun storylines throughout this week. But one of the things that this event has done is for players that. Out of the flag, going with three wood. Really sounded nice. That is straight as a string there. I mean, she one armed it. You're thinking she might not be happy <laughs> with it, but that was more of a show than it was a show. At 18, her partner still has this. Oh, just on the lip. No, but a good week for Cheyenne Knight and Elizabeth Solkel. And, and when I talk about there's different storylines, different things at stake for players. Yeah, right to left breaking 35 footer from off the putting surface for Castron. Just needs to ensure she hits it firm enough. Seen a lot of that today, Kay. If they're not going in, they're coming up a little bit short. As there is no give up in this player at all. Woo! Bam. And they just keep pouring them in. Baker are going to get close to the uh, all time scoring record here. 27 under, that is. And it would be. Dollar counts in every top finish helps. Yep. What a spectacle this finishing hole is. I don't know who this guy is in the crowd. <laughs> he's, he's vocal. He's pretty much called every single shot correct. I think he's yeah. spent one time. So she's taking it more to the left. That's a little taller. Yeah, just kind of a little three-quarter shot there. Get it. And another good chance for Brody. Why not? You've been making them all week long. Team, this just a moment ago. You the putter out of the first cut through the fringe, I guess. Oh, it stays out right. Did not come back. And it looked like it had to go left. Turn it into a two. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Full circle moment right there. Final round 63. Their goal yesterday was to create a cushion mm. so that they would have a little bit, you know, of a leeway there. Because you never know if you're going to just come out flat. Right. And, and they knew. Oh, she's blasting! Let's go! Woo! That is plenty safe. Yeah. Well done for the first one to hit. Swing. She's eyeing it. Yeah, going on a, about the same line as her partner. Safe, safe, Just academic from here. Lovely two. And a lovely twosome as well. And another fond memory for these two as they take it to the wedding. That'll probably come up in the speech at some point by the maid of honor. <laughs> Just a little right to left movement, slightly uphill. Can she get it there? Just enough. Oh, they're just reveling in it. Zero pressure. There's a celebration on the airplane en route to the Evian. 
pacing all the way. And that'll do it. There they are. The fantastic duo of Lizette Salas and Jennifer Cupcho, a partnership that will no, no likely be cemented for years to come. Solheim Cups and Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitationals. Such wonderful chemistry. They didn't get a piece of that tournament record, but they left us with a lot of highlights and memories. Champagne bath. Yeah, she's been waiting a long time for that sip. <laughs> Don't waste it. Give me that. <laughs> Jennifer and Lizette, congratulations. Jennifer, we've talked all day about the incredible relationship that you guys have, the chemistry that you guys have. What was clicking for you guys today specifically, and what was the conversation like out on the golf course? I don't think it was just today. I think we were clicking all week. Um, I think we just have a lot of faith in each other. We make each other comfortable. Um, so we just know that if we mess up, the other person's got us, and that has worked really well for us. Lizette, first win in eight years. Six runner-ups in that time, though. Talk to me a little bit about that journey from 2014 to now. Um, man, it's been a long time, but if I were to win again during a partner team, it would be with, with Jennifer and to spend the whole week together and to continue the momentum that we had back in, back in September. And oh God, I don't want to get emotional, but it's just a magical week. And, um, you know, I couldn't have done it without her. And uh, we're, we just make a great team. And from the start, when we got here, uh, we knew we, we had faith in each other and that we could pull this off. Jennifer, your third win this year. How does the satisfaction of winning a tournament individually differ from winning with a teammate? Um, I mean, yeah, it obviously is different, but I think I'm very, very happy to have done it alongside Lizette. We are a great team, and um, for her to get her first win a little while with me, it's, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward, Lizette, how much confidence does this give you with the couple majors coming up? Yeah, no, this is a great confidence booster, and, you know, coming into this week, I, I really just wanted to, to play well for her, and, and she's just a solid player all around and I just wanted to contribute and, and do my part I knew um, I knew my game was there uh, we've had some struggle the last couple of months but going into the, the next few majors uh, this is huge for me and um, just excited for where we're at as a team for our, our games and uh, where we're going Jennifer how much confidence does it give you going forward a lot. Um, I think we both played really well. Um, I think I hit the ball a lot better than I thought I was going to coming into the week. So um, to have that carrying into majors, um, it's it's nice. Well, congratulations again, you guys, and safe travels to France. <laughs>